Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Tag Manager tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to install QTS with Google Tag Manager. It is extremely easy, we're going to go straight to the point. Before we do that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, it helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. Job number one, you need a QTS account. This can be done for free. So you are going to go to QTS, you're going to sign up, and then we're going to add a new site. If this is the first time you're signing up, you're going to go straight to this flow. So here we're going to add a new site, this one here. So this is going to be our URL. This is going to be under our organization, and we are going to name our website. And we are going to say that we want to get started for free. So there is also a free subscription in Cookies. Now that we are starting, we are going to decide here how the consent banner is going to look like. You are going to go for dark or light mode. This doesn't really matter actually. So you can go for box or banner. That's up to you, like the aesthetics. You can choose a language also. And then we're going to click next. And here we're going to say we want to install with Google Tag Manager. It's extremely easy. So we're going to click here Tag Manager. We're going to copy this key here. So copy this key. And now you're going to navigate to your Google Tag Manager. So we're going to come here. We're going to create a new tag. So you can go to Tags or Overview. You're going to click here New Tag. We are going to name it first. So we're going to name it Cookie Yes. And under Tag Configuration, we're going to click here. And we are going to click on Discover More Tag Types here in this blue line on top. So you're going to click here. And you are going to look for Cookie Yes here. So once this loads actually and does me this favor, we're going to search, click here on the search bar. And we are going to basically find cookie yes. So cookie yes. Now we're going to select this one with a blue logo. So we are going to click on it. We're going to add it basically to our website. We're going to say choose a template. We are going to paste the website key here. So here you see it says website key. You're going to paste it here. One more thing you need to do under tag configuration. You're going to click here on default consent settings. You're going to say add setting. And here, what I advise you to do is to disable everything. And then you can actually keep the locations, the regions basically as all. So you are going to add. So this is the setup here, everything disabled, all regions. And now you're going to go to triggering here. And under triggering, you're going to select consent initialization all pages. Consent initialization all pages. So you are going to select this triggering. You are going to save basically here. And now what we need to do is we need to submit and publish our container. So we submit, we publish to send the changes live basically here. So that's very important also to make sure that everything is working. And one more thing that I advise you to do. Now the next thing we need to do is to verify basically here. Click verify and the system will say that we verified that cookie yes is in your site. But in order to facilitate that, because sometimes it will take a little bit of time, if you want to speed up things, you are going to preview your container basically here. So we are going to open the Tag Assistant. You're going to put your URL here. You're going to connect. And you need to verify, first of all, with the Tag Assistant. So once the preview, the Tag Assistant is connected, we need to verify here that cookie yes is on our website and you should be able to see the banner also here, right? So this is the cookie yes banner. So now that we verify that everything is working with Google Tag Manager, we're going to go to cookie yes. We're going to click here, verify, and the system will now connect to our website. And it says here, you successfully implemented a cookie banner on your website. And that's it. Now you have cookie yes GDPR actually in your website. If you want to change now the location and you don't want this to be worldwide and you want this to be only for specific countries, you're going to come here to the cookie yes dashboard. You're going to click here under the targeted location. You will say geo target and the system will ask you to upgrade. But if you already upgrade it, then you will be able to select different countries here, right? So that's what we always get with a paid subscription. That's it. A quick recap of what we did step by step. Job number one, we are going to need a cookie yes account. We can create one for free. We're going to add a new website and we are going to copy 
the website key. Once we copy the website key, we come to Tag Manager, we create a new tag, you name it here, Cookie Yes, you click on Tag Configuration, you select here, Discover More Tag Types. Once this screen opens, you're going to find Cookie Yes from the search. You're going to click here, you're going to choose this template and it in your website, paste the website key here, open default consent settings, click at the setting, everything disabled, regions will be all, you don't touch regions, and then under triggering, you select consent initialization, don't forget to submit and publish your tag manager, and that's it, that's how you can apply consent on your website. Thanks a lot for watching, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and have a great day in any time zone. Thank you everyone.